Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Again, we are going to continue the course. What are project uh, stakeholders? See, stakeholders, they are the individuals and organizations that are either actively involved in the project or whose interests may be positively or negatively affected by the project and its outcome. So they are the you know, part of the projects. So they helped uh, to uh, develop the project in a directly or indirect manner. So they are like uh, project uh, stakeholders. Who are these like uh, project sponsors? Um, the, who provide money, who provide costs, who provide money, finance, finance. Then managers, then project team, then support staff, customers, then users, then suppliers, opponents of the project. So these are very, very important persons who are part of the project. Then we have uh, some advantages of project management. Like first, we have some five steps, main steps. Boss, customers, and other stakeholders do not like surprise. See, they also they do not like surprise, but they, they want to do it systematically. They don't want surprises. They have to do in a very, very, uh, very efficient manner. Like good project management provides assurance. What do you mean by this assurance? Assurance means it is the positive declaration. It is the positive declaration. It is the positive declaration. Uh, it provides confidence. It provides confidence. It provides con confidence, yes. And reduces the risk. So it reduces the risk. Okay. Then we have uh, the project management. It provides tools and environment to plan, monitor, track, and manage schedules, resources, costs, and quality. So these are the very important parameters which have to be taken into consideration. Well, uh, having the uh, we get advantages is actually main advantages to be considered. Then the fourth one is it provides a history of uh, matrix history. It, it does just compares every time with the previous one. And it acts as a base for the future planning as well as it, it has a good documentation. It, uh, it has a very good documentation. Finally, these uh, members of project, they learn how to grow and by, by working in a cross-functional team. That's what I said in the beginning. Cross-functional team is that person, people working with the other department, so that they are doing a very efficient manner to solve the project-related issues. Then we just talk about the history of project management. See, modern project management began with Manhattan. Manhattan Project. What is this Manhattan Project? Actually, this is the R&D. This is the research and development uh, undertaken during the World War II. It was taken in World War II by uh, to produce nuclear weapons, to produce nuclear weapons by U.S. America, in link with U.K. and Canada, in link with U.K. and Canada. So they were the first to uh, do this project management. That this is done by the U.S. military, uh, led to develop the atomic bomb, which has uh, led to the development of atomic bomb. Then in 1917, Henry Gantt developed the Gantt chart as a tool. So Gantt chart is a scheduling tool so to schedule how to schedule the. Uh, projects is a scheduling tool. It's a scheduling tool and a scheduling chart. It's a chart. It's actually a scheduling chart. Yes, for scheduling work in job shops. Then in 1958, the Navy developed Perth. Perth is a program. It is evolution review technique. Program Evolution Review Technique. So it's, a, it's like a scheduling technique. So to, to find the uh, time, like for example, is to find the ma uh, process. For example, when you do a process, how's the, how to find out the path, to find out the path of a particular uh, problem. It's a Program Evolution Review Technique. Then we have in 1970, the military began using the project management softwares and didn't construction. The softwares like you have uh, like uh, Proof Hub. They have softwares like Proof Hub. Then you have Scoro, then you have Basecamp. So these are the very famous softwares of project management. In 1990, virtually every industry was using some form of project management. So what do you mean by virtually? Virtually means almost, almost. Virtually means almost nearly everyone. Almost nearly everyone was started using this uh, concept of project management.